Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Simply Alicia A. And we already know what time it is today. Well, tonight. It's like 9.50 at night, you guys. So, we are doing planting tonight, you guys. I finally got a little bit of chance to get into my kitchen and get some of my babies planted up. We're only doing about maybe six or seven plants today. So this is going to be a fairly short video, and I know you guys are used to the longer videos, but um, because it's only just a few plants that we have planted up, and I still literally have like a ton, and I just got like about five or six more new babies, um, I'm going to have to do another plant haul within the next day or so. You guys know me. <laughs> so um, yes, let's just get into it, and I hope you guys enjoy this. I know I will. I have not been in the kitchen for a while, and I haven't done a plant with me in a while, so... I am super excited about this, you guys. This is my zen moment, so let's get started. All right, you guys. So I'm starting off here with my cutie patootie here. This is my Aglo, Agla Onima. I, you guys know I can't say these names. I hope you guys can see it. It's not too blurred, but I'm starting off with my little spiky one here. And um, I'm going to re be, be repotting her. I think this might be too big, but we're going to go ahead and do it. And um, I'm potting her in some pots. You guys, I have been going, actually, I have been going to, um, what is that called? Uh, garage sales, you guys. So I've been getting, like, secondhand pots and stuff. And I've literally been only paying, like, for maybe $40, $40 worth of uh, pots. I've only been paying, like five dollars for like a huge bin of used pots porcelain and and um uh, what is the other ones um uh terracotta you guys it's been so freaking cool it's been amazing so i oh wow look at that you know what i think i'm gonna do um because her root system is pretty um she has a really good root system really healthy root system this pot is going to be too big for her I believe so I think I might put her in a smaller pot a little bit more suited to her size so yeah I'm gonna stick her I really don't want to because I don't like that look I like it in here but too much soil holds too much water <sighs> so oh I don't know you guys let's 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 see let's figure something out here what do you guys think um, in here, I like her in here. She looks really cute in here, but you don't want to put too much water in here. You know what I can do? I can put her in here. I'll just add extra perlite. That is what I will do. Look how intelligent your girl is. <laughs> so let's just do that. And if you guys see me doing this, what I'm doing is this particular perlite that I have right here, this brand is actually a little bit more water watery than what I would like. It gets really, really, I'm, I'm sorry, not watery, dusty. It gets really, really dusty. And the, um, the, uh, the dust gets in my lungs. And so, um, I wet this down because it's just entirely too dusty. So I have to wet it down. So, um, let's see. I'm kind of off my rocker here a little bit, you guys, because I haven't been in the kitchen for a while doing a plant with me so I've been like very busy you guys like if anyone has is, is my my um my regular viewers would know I am I've been very very busy definitely with my ministry but with my family as well but I've been very busy I'm gonna add some of this um earthworm castings so, I'm going to add a little bit to each of my plants today to see how that goes. And if you look, this stuff is rich. Look at that. I don't know if you can really see in there. But it's so, so dark. Dark, dark and rich in color. I'm like super excited to try this out. But yeah, you guys. So, I've been like really busy um, with ministry. We actually just wrapped up vacation Bible school at my church. So... Um, I was actually blessed to teach for three nights, so I'm like really blessed and really excited and grateful and honored to actually have that. And so I was able to teach um, teach the teenagers two nights and then the young adults uh, for the last night, which was last um, 
I taught them yesterday, so I am super grateful and honored that my church uh, asked me to um, teach. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there just to give her a little boost. And I can never find my utensils, you guys. I can never find my, <laughs> my gardening utensils. This is so frustrating, girl. But yeah, so... I've been training, I have been, um, i just been doing a lot, you guys, so, it's been, yeah, it's been like, <clears throat> let's see, stuff has gotten in my lungs already, in my nose, I don't like it, it makes me very uneasy, but that's okay, I'm gonna apply a lot of drainage to her, because this is such a bigger pot than what she is, so you don't want too much water to sit around in the dirt, and hang around her roots you want to avoid that like completely avoid that so I'm going to do that Put those in there. stir those up just a little bit now I gotta make room for her so if I can give you guys a tip if you're working with dirt that's kind of dusty you kind of want to err on the side of caution with dirt because this stuff gets in your lungs and in your nose and I don't know if it causes any problems but you just want to be very careful you guys I've taken precautions over the years by covering my nose anytime I work with um, really dry dirt so you might want to do that as well just to um, just to be careful just to err on the side of caution because you can never be too careful with this kind of stuff you know I want to um, Apply extra extra drainage because even though she is a tropical plant it's not wise to have her sitting in so much water so I'm gonna try to loosen up some of her her um not too much but look at her root system you guys how beautiful is that oh all right so Let's just loosen these up a little bit. I think that should be good. You guys tell me I wasn't afraid to um <coughs> oh excuse me you guys I'm sorry I wasn't afraid to push this down a little bit because her roots are already loosened so what do you guys think how do you think she looks in this I think she'll like it what do you guys think it has a bow I think it's cute okay let's move on to the next one Next, we're going with this little cutie patootie here, you guys. How adorable. Oh, 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 OMG. So I'm going to keep her actually in this in this size pot. Um, let me get my little thingy here. My little picker-uppers. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is I don't have any cactus dirt or cactus or suc succulent dirt, so I'm going to improvise. So I'm going to just carefully grab her out of here. And what I'm gonna do is, and this has like literally no drainage, but I'm not gonna really be watering them anyway. But airing on the side of caution, I'm gonna put that on the bottom, give her a little bit of dirt to, um, to have a little bit of cushion for her roots. All right, there you go. See if I can get her out, there we go, uh oh, there we go. And there go her root system right there. Okay, so we're gonna see how she fits. We're gonna have to take some dirt out. Take some out. There you go. I think that should be okay. What do you guys think? 
Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Ooh, that stuff was like very dangerous. <laughs> So I'm going to take a little bit, but extra, extra of the perlite here and put it in here. Now, one of my viewers requested that I do a cacti video, a cacti care video. I would absolutely love to do that. However, I'm going to be completely and totally honest with you. Um, I'm just getting into cacti myself, so I'm not really that familiar with it. So what I can do is I can just show you, I can just record, make a recording of me like potting up my cacti. And I do apologize, I forget who requested this. But I could just do a video of me um, potting up the cacti. But I really do not know how to take care of cactus. Um, I know I just, uh, we just recently had some rain in our state in Minnesota. So what I did was I just let them sit outside and... Um, they got rained on and then when we were going to have rain again I brought them in because I know cactus don't need a lot of water however when I go to the nurseries I see that they, they allow them to sit outside and get rain so I said you know what I'll just kind of do it how the nursery does it and um, just let them sit outside and get rain but then I'm going to bring them in if it rains too much so I've had uh, I've been blessed to actually keep them alive you know doing that but I'm like I said, I'm not really familiar with cacti. So this is what I'm gonna do. So she looks secure in there. She has a lot of drainage. I'm not gonna really be watering her anyway. So, but look at that. She's like healthy, you guys. My goodness. So, <coughs> excuse me. That is this one. So let's move on to the next baby. Alright, guys. So the next baby coming up is this cutie pie right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. It's so cute. All the little spikies creep me out, but you know what? Not in a bad way. <laughs> like, creep me out as in, it's going to poke me and cause some damage. Ow! <laughs> so, a little bit of worm castings here. Give her a little bit of boost and see how that goes. See how she likes that. Alright, you guys. So, I got my trusty handy dandy poker picker upper. Loosen this up a little bit. I don't even know where to grab her at. There we go. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, you guys, there's her root system. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Perfect fit, too. Yes. How cute is she? How adorable is this little one? So I want to thank um, one of my other viewers, one of my other subscribers, who was so sweet enough to tell me about the um, the plant swap that's coming up at Sunnyside uh, Gardens. Um, I believe in September. I never. I think I thanked you. If you know, if you're watching, you know who you are. Thank you so so much, you guys, because I actually wanted to attend one of them. I just never had a chance to figure out where one would be at in Minnesota so when you said that I was like beyond stoked I was so excited you guys I could not contain myself even though I forced myself to be calm on camera so <laughs> um, me and my sister were actually trying to create a plant swap of our own and um, we just never got around to it but to hear that they have one coming up I'm definitely going to attend and then, oh, I just broke one of her little spines. Uh-oh. And then maybe um, in the near future, um, if I see how this one goes, I can probably do one myself. And then, um, that should be okay. I can do one myself. There you go. What do you guys think? I can do one myself. And then, um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, up next we have this cutie patootie. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. So anyways, um yeah, so uh when I see how that one goes, I can um I can get the right information and the right guidelines and things and start and do my own uh plant swap. So um I'm super excited about this, you guys, because you get a chance to basically kind of grow your grow your um 
your plant, I say plant family, some people say collection. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying either or. Um, you get to grow your plant family for free. Like you literally trade, uh, trade if who, who, for those who are not familiar with the plant swap, you just basically trade, you know, plants that you have for plants that you don't have. And um, I've seen it on TV. Summer Rain Oaks, I believe she did one. I think she hosted one or something like that. And um, I've seen other um, other uh, uh, YouTubers go to plant swaps. And I mean, I'm just sitting there like living vicariously through them <laughs> because I'm like, oh my God, I so want to be there. I so wish I could do that. And Lord's will, now I have the opportunity. So thank you so 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 much for letting me know um you know who you are i really do appreciate you um that was so sweet of you to let me know because i've always i've since i've started uh adding to my plant family this year i wanted to do a plant swap so so you guys if you have any um plant swaps in your in your cities or states how, how does it go like is it certain times of year in your different countries? Because I know I have people watching me from like the Netherlands and um, people watching me from um, from other countries, which is so flipping amazing, you guys. It's just, oh my gosh, I feel so honored to have so many people like watch me and just be interested in things that I'm doing. It's just, it just feels good. But um, yeah, so I have people from different countries so the people from different countries and different states if you're not in in this state or whatever um how does your plant swaps go how do they go like do you guys um yeah just give us some information on how does it go i know uh i love julen she goes to a um i forget what it's called but it's um i know that they uh, what is it called? Darn, it's slipping my memory, you guys. But, um, what is that called? You guys have to forgive me. I have this condition. It's called IIH. And it's a condition where extra fluid builds up on, on your brain. And some of the side effects of it is called, uh, um, some of the side effects uh, include, like, memory loss, uh, seizures, migraines, blurred vision, um, what else? Um, it's some other things I can't quite remember right now. But, um, so when you guys, whenever you, um, watch my videos and you see me pausing or I'm doing like this or I'm trying to catch or remember what I'm saying, it's because of that, um, it's because of that condition. Enter, enter something, hypertension, enter... IIH, so intracranial something, hypertension or something like that. But um, yeah, and um, and so if you see me trying to reach for something or you see me pause because I can't remember, it's because of that. And I just was diagnosed with this about a couple of about a month or so ago. No, about a about three or four months ago. So. Um, please don't, don't get frustrated with me because I, I, I kind of lose my memory sometimes, but yeah, that's, that's, um, I suffer with that condition and, um, one of the contributing factors they said is weight and they said it's for women, it's, um, in childbearing years and it's, um, if you're overweight. So I've actually been trying to, uh, lose some weight so I can get this, uh, condition under control. And um, so I've been so busy, you guys. That's why I said I've been doing so much and got some other things coming up, too. I'll probably have to explain that a little bit later. But how do you guys think that's how, how cute is this? What do you guys think? Look at that. Looks like an actual like Western, old Western cactus. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. So look at that. How gorgeous are you? I have not come up with a name for this one yet, you guys. I need to. All right, let's move on to the next baby. All right, you guys. So next up is my birthday present that I got from one of my friends. Um, this is so cute. This is another Dracaena. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pot her up into here uh, really quickly. 
and then we're gonna move on to the next baby um but um as i was saying earlier i do have another procedure that i have to do and that is going to be probably coming up like very soon as well so um and for this procedure they said um once i get this procedure done um it's six weeks recovery so um that's a little bit down the, a little bit ways down the road so i'll make a video about that you guys explaining the whole thing and um some of the steps that i may have to take i may have to pre-record some videos you guys because i won't be able to do anything for about almost a month um i'm gonna pre i might have to pre-record some videos for you guys and then um just upload them like once a week or something like that and this is gonna really suck because i'm gonna miss you guys you know i'm gonna miss talking to you guys and interacting with you guys and and reading your comments your guys amazing comments i'm gonna miss that so um we'll, we'll talk more about that in depth when i actually get the actual information um when i get all the information and then times and dates and stuff so just uh uh, I guess wish me blessings or prayers for a safe operation and a speedy recovery and that the hands of God will be on the instruments and on the on the um, the surgeon's hands and I will return to you guys when I when I fully recover so <laughs> but that's a little bit ways down the line um, but I will be putting out a video letting you guys know because i don't just want to go off the air and just leave my my um my subscribers because you guys are literally like have become my plant friends you know my plant friends and family so oh my oh my Ew. look at that you guys she like has no root system like tiny tiny root system so um this is gonna have to be redone because that it's gonna be entirely too big for her so, and this is going to be <laughs> too small. So, hmm. well, that's what happens. These things happen. So, give me one second, you guys. I'm going to find a correct pot for her. Okay, guys. So, I found a pot that's big enough for her. Oh, no. I just broke off her root. <laughs> However, it's a terracotta. So, I really don't want to put a tropical plant in terracotta because, you know, tropical plants need more moisture. But I'll just have to keep a watch on her, her pot and her moisture very closely. So, I'll just put this in here that I've already prepared. Watch my glove. Don't get my glove wet. <clears throat> put this in here that I've already prepared. Put a little bit more of the earthworm castings. And... Get her in here because it's two of them. Get them in here. How cute is that? It's too bad that it was such a small root system. Wow. But yeah, so I am um I'm a touch bit nervous about it, but you know what? God gave me peace about it, and I believe in him. And I have all my faith in him, and I just, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to trust and believe that everything is going to be fine. I'm going to speak into existence that I will recover fully, no bad side effects, and I will be just fine. So, um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'll probably, like I said, pre-record some videos for you guys, so... Just um, just keep a heads up for that. And we'll see. This is not set in stone. We don't know if it's final yet. But um, yeah, so. Now, how cute is that? I think that's kind of adorable. <laughs> All of this big tallness in a little bitty pot. That's just so cute. Like, I wish I can give you the full scale of it. But yeah. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Hey, everyone. So next we have this three plant one two, yeah this three plant combination you guys remember this from the haul I got this on sale $4.99 from um, Cub grocery store it just says foliage plant I know this is a Dracaena I just found out this is a Dracaena but I don't know what type of Dracaena I know this is a Diefenbachia and this is a co of course 
a um Lord have mercy, what is this? You guys a philodendron. A philodendron. A um Oh Lord. Um Y'all know what that is. Uh, it's so frustrating having this this thing. Uh, but God is good. I make the best of it. I always make the best of a situ uh, bad situation like that. I don't let it get me down. God is good all the time. So, <laughs> uh, Brazil. Brazil philodendron. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Brazil philodendron. So, I got this one from a garage sale as well. This is part of those... Um, that five dollar thing I got. I just recently watered this, so I'm going to be careful. Look at the root system here. I'm going to be careful with. Um, I'm not. As a matter of fact, I wanted to separate these and make a separate different plant, but you know what? I'm going to keep them together because I think they're so stinking cute and adorable together. And they've been filling. They've been um, filling the pot, filling in the pot together. And they've been acclimated together. So I think it's only fair to keep them together. And just have a bushel uh, 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 combination. I hope there's not a mosquito in here. A combination plant, you guys. So let's take some of this out. Hmm, okay. So let's do some of this. Loosen up their roots just a little bit. Look at that root mass right there. Nope, that's all I need to do. Like that. There we go. I'm going to put you back in here. Put her back in there. You know what? This has roots on it. This may have a possibility of surviving and growing something. I'm just going to put it in here. I'm very familiar with philodendrons, so. Add some of this dirt in here with her dirt. So zen for me, you guys. <laughs> this is like a moment in time for me. Every time I get to, anytime I get to plant up my babies, it's like I'm in my own world. I love this. I really do. There we go. This is um, porcelain or not porcelain. What is this called, you guys? Not plaster. Um, the glass type plant. But look at that. They're still together. And they're in their new pot, their new home. So stinking cute. Okay, let's move on to the last two babies. <laughs> All right, you guys. Up next, look at who I'm planting up next. This is my cutie patootie, my Monstera Minima, or also known as, oh, it just says Monstera Minima, but you guys already identified it for me. Thank you so much, by the way. But I know the last part is Tetrasperma, Tetrasperma, something like that, but the first part, I just, I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't pronounce that, unfortunately, so, yeah, I tried, but that just didn't work, <laughs> so, my tetrasperma i'm super excited about this baby i got this plant this planter out of a garage sale as well so i'm excited to get her piled up in here she's a tropical plant so i'm going to put her in um whatever this is called plaster not plaster um porcelain or whatever it is you guys this so i'm going to put some earthworm castings in here Give her an extra boost. Stir that up in here. And then add the uh, 
I just realized that Perlite. Add the perlite in here. <sighs> so I'm gonna put her in here. I'm gonna put some more um, perlite in there, just a little bit more. See how dusty that is, you guys? Oh, you probably can't see it, but it's just too dusty. It's horrible. Okay. So here's what my potting medium. Look, you guys, I'm learning. Potting medium. <laughs> here's what my potting medium looks like. So we're going to get her going in here. She likes it. And I still haven't figured out a name for her either. Wait, I'm gonna have to take some of this out. Okay. Alright, here we go, you guys. Let's see. This is my first experience with this particular plant. Oh wow, look at that. Nice system. That's not too bad. I like how the root system is kind of similar to the Monsteros as well. Like this root that wraps around right there. Yeah, that's a nice looking uh, root system. Loosen it up just a little bit. Some of this in here. There you go. I gotta wash, uh, wash the um, um, pot off. I think that's cute. So, and then she came with this cute little saucer. How cute is that? Adorable. Look at that. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, let's go to the last plant of the day, which is my cutie patootie here. And someone, I think they gave me an idea of what she could be. And I thank you for it. I just can't remember what it was. So, got this at a garage sale too. I got like $30 worth of uh, terracotta pots, you guys, for like, how much? Like, seriously, like little of nothing. Like, it was just amazing how it happened. So, I'm just like, Lord, you are so good for blessing me to get these blessings. <laughs> so, um, I didn't pay too much of nothing for these. I'm going to use the dirt that just came from the Monstera. Just going to stir that up in there. With some extra perlite. Extra, extra perlite. Okay. Add a little worm castings in there. With uh, a little here. So I'm going to take her out of her pot here. And this is so cute. Look at their little roots. <laughs> How adorable. So I'm going to keep that in there because that has sand. So I'm going to keep her original dirt in there. Put that. There we go. There we go. I'm going to mix that up in there with some of her new dirt. 
and I'm gonna try you guys if um if I um if this 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 uh, operation coming up doesn't impede on the uh, plant swap I'm gonna see if I can record in there hopefully they will let me do it because they let me do a come with me there so hopefully they'll let me record the plant swap because I have some babies that I actually want to uh, that I'm getting ready <laughs> To plant swap, so I am super duper excited about this, you guys. I am so excited. <clears throat> actually, you can get some more in there because you don't want it too deep in there. Okay, I'm trying to <laughs> get this stuff in here, you guys, without getting poked. To because these pokies are not cute, especially the apuntia, the, the prickly pear um, cacti. Whoo, them suckers are no joke. Okay, and them things get in you and they do not come out. I've literally had to sit and look up in like the sun or something to see the little shiny pokies to pull them off me because them things dig in you. They are serious about what they're doing. <laughs> they are beyond serious. So I just don't like to get poked by these cacti. This thing is, whoo. <clears throat> it's dangerous. I say dangerous. <laughs> there you go. I didn't want to do that like a lot of her is buried under this dirt. Ugh. Let me see if I can pull her up a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. Because like the more of the cactus you get wet, the more uh, soggy and, you know, and, 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 and less, less strong it'll be. So I don't want it too deep down in there, but I don't want it to where it's going to fall out too when it moves. So. All right, you guys. How does that look? So cute. All right, you guys. I believe I am done. That is the last baby of the bunch today. All right, you guys, that is all for today. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. I sincerely do. Um, I am grateful that you guys uh, join me and watch my videos. I thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys have fun because I did too. This is my zen moment. I don't know what zen means. <laughs> this is my this peace and quiet moment. I just have time to myself. And um, I can just reflect and have thoughts and... Um, and yeah just do just do what I love to do so um, if you're new to my channel hit the like button hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I upload anything and as always you guys don't forget okay that I love you and God loves you too we will see you all in our next video you guys be blessed okay bye